feel like the defense sort of won that team period today? Yes. Why is that? <laughs> uh, I feel like we flew around. We had a lot of energy. And I uh, feel like we played good. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think about the, the nose tackle competition between Misi and, and Lamont? What, what do both of those guys do well, and what can they both give you guys? Oh, uh, man, we have, we have, we're have really deep at the nose tackle spot, man. Like, um, like all of them can do a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? But obviously, Mont being just that, that strong guy in the middle that can just unmovable force, you know what I'm saying? But Misi is also strong, but Misi's very fast for his size. And uh, Zeus is a little bit of both, you know. He's not as uh, as, as quick as Misi, uh, but he's he's strong. He's very agile for his size, you know. So I feel like they're just going to have a battle all camp long. And I feel like that battle from camp is even going to roll into the season, man, because we they're really that good, all, the, all three of those guys. Oh, even four. I forgot about Dallas, but, you know, Dallas moves between nose and tackle. Well, the leadership around the defense has been kind of a, a question, and it seems more so than, than ever that you guys have a group of guys who are kind of governing themselves and their own leaders, and that's kind of what Leach has already always been asking for. Has this been more so than any year before that you've been with WCU, that, that you guys have group guys who are leading themselves rather than just one kind of fearless leader yeah definitely it's more um it's kind of like position groups each position group has like one or two leaders and uh we kind of go off of those guys and we're, we're in in the past like last year was kind of like a Peyton six-year guy uh obviously he was the head of the defense and you know and that's what we kind of were looking for at the beginning of off season and stuff like that but then it's like you know we don't need that you know we can all just come in and uh kind of Co coexist, I guess, as, as leaders. Did you guys come to that? Did that kind of happen naturally, or is mm -hmm. that kind of after years of yeah. Leach preaching, you know, you can be the leader of yourself and yeah. then you don't need that one leader? Yeah, it really happened naturally, honestly, because um, we were so used to that one guy, and then we were like, who's going to be that guy? And then it naturally just flowed into everybody, like not everybody, but a couple guys here, a couple guys here, you know what I'm saying, just showing leadership qualities and um, – kind of bonding together, you know, to uh, form that strong leadership. So is that resulting in a more vocal defense right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, we're definitely more vocal. I think we need to pick our energy up a little bit. I like the energy. I think it was good, but I think we could definitely be a little more energized. What's it like uh, being over here at the middle school in, in Lewiston, being with the, the guys over here? Uh, what do you mean? What's it like just being outside of Pullman and practicing mm -hmm. in Lewiston? Um... Well, Pullman is a beautiful campus, you know. If it was up to me, I wouldn't want to leave, but it's not up to me. Well, you know, and obviously Lewiston's a little bit hotter, but, you know, who cares? We're playing football, man. You know, that's what I came to do at the end of the day, play football and get better, and that's what we're here to do, progress each day. Are you guys able to look at this as a bonding opportunity as well? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're kind of just removed from the uh, – the things that we know, you know, we're not, uh, we're, we're just all on the campus together. No, no TVs, no Xboxes, you know, stuff like that. So it's kind of like, kind of forces us to be together and uh, talk more. Your guys' roommates at the dorm, are those your guys' travel roommates or is it kind of just random right yeah. now? Actually, they, uh, the coaches picked our roommates and uh, they kind of tried to put us with guys outside of our position groups and guys that we usually wouldn't uh, talk to as much and be around and stuff like that. Who's, who's your roommate? I got Aesop. Me and Aesop are, uh, yeah, me and Aesop are roommates. And it's cool because, you know, like I said, he's on the offense. We won't really see him much in those guys, so it's cool. What's, what's something you learned about Aesop while well, you know, rooming with him that you, that you didn't know before? Well, this is the first day, so I ain't you know, learned much. But, you know, uh, Aesop's a cool dude, man. He's, not, uh, he's quiet. He's nice. But, you know, he's, uh, he's not no pushover either, and I like that about Aesop. He had the, the, the one play that I, I guess he, he thought it was he thought it was a touchdown. You, you guys on defense were claiming that you, you probably would have tackled him. Do you do you enjoy the back and forth between offense and, and, and defense during, during this yeah, kind of non padded portion? Yeah, man, I love it, man, because it's, you know that's part of my game. Just uh, I can I can uh, be talking and still talking to other people and playing my game, and it I think it makes everybody mentally tougher for the season because then they're used to the pressure being on them and you know stuff like that and not getting outside of their game when someone talks to them, you know. Where'd you, where'd you get that from, being being talkative and being kind of uh, 
talk, not talking trash, mm -hmm. but kind of. Yeah, actually, it's just where I'm from, man. Saginaw, man. We that's all we do all day, you know. Basketball, football, playing at the park. We're talking trash, and you gotta learn to be mentally tough enough to either ignore it or talk back. But when you're talking back, you ha can't lose focus on the job at hand and your and your game.